Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, this is another in our series of Divi for Beginners videos and you can find the link to that playlist down below this video. Today, we're gonna to show you how to embed a live Google map into your Divi website. If I go down here, we've got a live Google map at the bottom here. I'll roll down a bit more. And you can scroll in, scroll out using your control. and get directions and things like that. Really easy to do. We're gonna show you a very easy way to do this today. You can do it with a module and an API key, but I'm gonna show you a little workaround for that that makes it really, really simple. So let's enable my visual builder here. And I'm gonna go over to Google Maps. Just go to Google, type in Maps, and that'll take you to Google Maps. Put in the address of your business or whatever your website once you have the address that your client wants you to put in there, we look down, there's a little share icon here. Zoom in or out to where you want to see as much or little of the area as you want. When you're happy, hit that little share button. And it's going to give you an option to embed the map. Now the map code's right here. Just hit the copy HTML button. Copy it. Let's go back to our Divi website now. And if we go down to where we had that map. Now I'm going to go over and delete this whole section and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new module. Just click on the section above where you want to add yours. A little blue button there. Let's add a new section. I want to use a regular section for mine. And when we make this full width, we'll expand our row. And that's a great thing to know. I'm going to put a little single column in mine. Now Divi has an actual map module, if we look down here, but to use this map module, you need what they call an API key. So you need to go over to Google and get yourself an API key. I'm gonna do a workaround for this. API keys are great, but you can do it without one. And that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's get rid of this. And we'll get rid of that little module. I'm gonna use a code module for this today. Saves getting an API key and works just as well for me on a single map. Now we copy that HTML code from our map over here by copying the HTML. We just need to paste it into our code module right here. If I expand that. Every DV module has a little handle on the side. You can make it bigger or smaller to your heart's content. And you may have noticed we've now got a little Google map in there. And if you roll over it, it'll prompt you to use your control key and you can scroll in and out. That's great. But you can do so many things once you've got this embedded into your site. Like I say, we're going to make this full width and we're going to tweak the colors a little bit and things like that. Once you've got it in there, you can use it like any other Divi module. For instance, if we go over to our design, down to our filters, which is a wonderful thing. Every module has filters under design. You can change the hue which, you know, the colors, saturation, make it more colorful or make it black and white if you want to. And if you don't like something you've done, simply select it, delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. You've got brightness, contrast, which will make it sharper or less sharp if you take it down. But the one I'm going to use for mine today is invert because it kind of turns it into a nighttime map. Well, I think that's pretty cool looking. Obviously, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's just an option for you. If I put that back to how it was, the next slider down is sepia. And that's going to kind of turn it into an oldie worldy treasure map type looking thing. Sepia is really what's used on oldie world photographs to make them look old. But again, that's a great effect and they can read it very well. And of course, they can scroll in live time if they want to there. But I'm going to put that back how it was. I'm going to use the invert on mine. Fantastic. And of course, you can use any other of the Divi features that we've got here, such as borders and box shadows. If we roll back and close up the filters, you've got box shadow out there. You can add box shadow to it if you want to, which will lift it off the page a bit. 
if you wanted to give it rounded corners, you can do that by giving a pixel value up here. And you can put a border around it with the regular border styles right here. Now you may find you have a slight gap at the bottom, but you can use a bit of color background behind the mat to fill that if you need to. Well, great, we've got this mat looking kind of how we want it. I want it that sort of nighttime view, but I want it to be full width. Now to make this full width, at the moment, if I go into the row and just give this row a background color so you can see what's going on, Background's always under content. Here we are. Let's just give it a black background there. If I move this out of the way. Our row is this big. Our map is only taking this much of it. Well, I want this to fill 100% of the available space of any container we put it in, whether it's full width or half width or whatever. To do that, save our row settings here. Let's go into our module itself here. And you may wonder why that's that color. It's because we've inverted the color. Even the tabs will invert there. If we look at our code now, and I'll zoom in on this when I edit this video, we've got width and height down here. Now, if I change that width from 600 to 100%, 100 and the percent sign, if I move this out of the way, you'll now see that that map is taking up all of the available space, which is just exactly what we want. If you want it to be deeper, you've got height here, and these are pixel values, that's 450 pixels deep. If you want it to be deeper, let's say 600 pixels deep, just select the 450 there. Make sure you don't chop off any of these inverted commas, that's really important. Put in your new value, I'm gonna put in 600. And as you can see, it's got a lot deeper there. Okay, well, we want to make this thing spread the whole of the screen width of any device that it's on. Now we're done in here. We don't have to modify this code anymore because we've told it already to stretch 100% of the width. So we'll save that. We've got a little gap at the top and the bottom here. That's the padding on the actual row itself, the green tab for the row. Now that's great because we want to go in there to make this full width anyway. So I'm going to go into the green tab. I'm going to take any padding away top and bottom. If we go over to design, spacings, where always where you'll find padding. Simply put a zero where it says top there. And you can hit the chain and it'll do exactly the same on the bottom. And you may have noticed it's taken away those gaps from top and bottom. There's still a little gap there. If I roll down a bit, that is actually on the section and we'll take that away in a minute. So we've taken those gaps away. Now we want to make this stretch all the way across our screen. And you can do this with any row. And we could have started off with a full screen section, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So still in design, let's close up spacing. If we roll up just above it, we've got sizing. If we roll down just a little bit, here's width. A little slider, if you slide it up to it's 100% there, then you can copy that 100%, Control C, paste it in the max width down below, or you can just type it in if you want to. Control V to paste. Voila, we've got a full width live Google map. But like I mentioned, we've got a bit of a gap, top and bottom. And that's just with the section that it's in. We'll take that away now. So let's save our changes for the row. We'll go into the section, the blue tab, and do exactly the same thing. Design is always where you'll find spacing. Spacing, put a zero in the top. There, it's buffered up against our section above there. Hit the little chain for the bottom. That's taking the gap away from the bottom also. Save the changes and we're good to go. Let's go down to the bottom here. Hit our little purple button. Save changes. And exit the visual builder. And let's go down to our little map. Make sure it's going to work on the front end. And there it is right there. And that's a really nice thing to have on your site. And like I say, it's live, so you can use your control key and your mouse wheel to scroll, zoom in, zoom out. You've got your directions up here. So on my little social medias there, you can get directions here and view a larger map here, obviously. And that's a wonderful thing to have on your site. 
And that's a great way of doing it without having to go to Google and get an API key. I tend to do it this way just for a bit of a time saver. Of course, if you want to put multiple pins and things on a map, you really want to do it with a map module and an API. But for a regular full width Google map for your business, this is the way I do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesigntechtips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.